started. Hi, everybody. So my name is uh, Francis Gaudreau. I'm a senior informatics consultant, uh, mostly in business analysis. As you can see, I've spent uh, most of my career, well, all my career in, in or around the labs, uh, starting as an analyst, and then I quickly move into uh, the dark side, as I used to say. So like in IT and doing implementation development, I work with uh, mostly labware, like versions five, six, seven, have a vast experience of Pharma template. I also know a lot about QC and RN research side. And uh, a few years ago, I uh, went ahead and get certified on Lean Six Sigma to uh, bring other tools to my uh, business analysis uh, toolbox. So uh, I'm going to be co-presenting with uh, Jessica, which is uh, over to you, Jessica. Thank you. Um, my name is Jessica Mariette. Uh, my educational backgrounds in biochemistry and bioinformatics. Um, as Megan said, I'm currently a LIMS informatics consultant here at CSOLS working on labware projects. I have eight years of laboratory experience um, working in various labs from chemistry, molecular biology to genomic medicine. And the last four years, I've been working exclusively in LIMS development, working with Labware 7 and primarily in biopharmaceutical industry applications of it. Uh, so that's a little bit about us. Uh, so thank you all for joining us today for our webinar. Um, today we're going to talk about Six Sigma and the DMAIC process. We're going to discuss how you can leverage your labware data to help with the DMAIC process. We'll walk through an example of reducing turnaround time. Um, then we'll wrap everything up at the end and we'll have time for questions. As Megan said, put them in the chat if you have any as you come along. And so with that, let's dive right in. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Uh, this is a famous quote from uh, Peter Drucker. He's an Austrian management consultant who worked um, a lot in optimizing manufacturing processes. So um, hopefully you're here because you have a limb system in place, lab or another one. And now that you've digitized your workflows, you, want, you can now measure all of those information that you're putting into it, and now we can improve it. So, we have the first step here, we're measuring it. Now we're gonna go into how we can improve your processes. So let's discuss what Six Sigma is. For those who aren't familiar, it's a set of tools and techniques for process improvement. It originated in the manufacturing processes, um, but it is applicable in laboratory settings as well to improve their workflows. Um, and the term Six Sigma refers to the fact that if your process is efficient, you won't have any deviations outside of um, six sigmas, which is a sigma is a standard deviation from your average. So within six standard deviations of your average, all of your data will be passing or all of your um, metrics will be passing in your workflow. So that's the idea of six sigma is to get all of your workflow within six standard deviations of average. So everything will be efficient. Um, and it actually reduces rejects to 99.99966%. Um, that's the goal with Six Sigma. So with that, we're going to discuss the DMAIC process, the DMAIC, uh, that Six Sigma employs for improving processes that are already in place. So there's another process in Six Sigma for implementing a process called uh, DMADV, but we're going to focus on improving your current processes that are already in place. So the first step of the DMAIC process is define the D, and then measure, analyze, improve, and control. And you'll notice here it's a cyclic process, so you're always having room for improvement. Once you implement one improvement, you continue the cycle to completely optimize your process. So in Labware, where do each of these steps take place? Um, the define step, you're gonna look at your target metrics or your analysis specifications for your tests that you have in Labware. Uh, you'll measure things like your results or your turnaround times or the number of samples you're processing. You can use Labware to analyze by uh, utilizing its reporting functionality. Um, and you can improve your Labware system by adding additional modules or utilizing barcodes 
or even adding in event triggers to help automate some steps in your process. And then Elabora has some great control systems in it, like visual workflows and alerts to help um, keep your processes moving smoothly. So that's the Six Sigma Demaic process and how Labware falls into each step. So let's start with the first step, define. So when you're trying to improve your processes, you need to first define the problem, improvement activity, or goal. Uh, so you need to figure out what you're trying, what workflow you're trying to improve. And you want to identify the critically important projects. So if you have some internal workflows or some customer facing workflows, the customer facing ones might be the ones you want to improve first. Um, so identify which ones are critically important. Um, you also want to implan, uh, plan your improvements to be incremental. It is a cyclic process, so you can improve it step by step. You don't need to try and improve everything at once. You want to make it into manageable steps. So do it in increments. And you can also prioritize those projects that are in the backlog. So the ones that weren't identified as urgent, you want to then prioritize them. So once you're finished, you know what your next project is, so you don't have any wasted time. You also want to make sure that the problem is real or to clarify the scope of what the, the problem is. Um, if it's just, you know, someone in the higher up says, you know, you should be doing a thousand samples a day instead of a hundred, that's not really a problem. Um, so you want to make sure you're very specific when you're defining your activity that you're uh, working to improve. So when you're going through and defining your, process, uh, your problem, the first step is to map out the entire workflow that happens in your laboratory. Um, every little step from the beginning to end, whatever you're trying to improve, make sure you capture what every single step is that's happening. Um, once you do that, the actual steps that are happening in the laboratory, you can define where Labware captures information about each of those steps. So you kind of want to map the actual workflow in the lab to what's actually being recorded and done in Labware to see where those steps are captured. And once you do that, you might find some gaps. There's certain steps that are happening in the lab that aren't being captured in Labware and need to be. This is when you would identify those and try and find a way to uh, capture that information. Another thing when you're defining what your problem is, you want to make sure you remove any duplications in your data entry. Labware records a lot of things automatically. So if you're having your users enter that information as well, that's double work for them, or you're adding in human error uh, where they could be entering it wrong, where Labware's entering it right. Also, if you have two places to look for um, data entry happening, when you go and try and measure things, you don't know which data point to look at. So if you have any duplications as you're mapping out your lab workflow to your labware workflow, try and remove those. The next thing you want to do is identify the key stakeholders to this process that you're trying to define. Find out who in the lab is the subject matter expert for each step. It might be one person knows the whole workflow or certain people know certain aspects of it. Identify them because they're going to be the ones that help point out things that are missing in labware that isn't capturing or will help you know, help you identify what can actually be improved and what can't um, realistically by the labware. So identify those before we, you get into the whole process so you have a go-to person for that. And the next thing you want to do is determine what your key performance indicators are. I'll be referring to these as KPIs. These are the metrics that you're going to be using to help um, to determine how efficient your process is. So depending on what your workflow is and what's important to your stakeholders in this workflow, it might be the turnaround time of processing your samples. It might be how many samples you can actually get through the lab in a week. Um, or it might be how often your analyses are going out of specification. 